All right, YouTube, this is part two of how to script your own admin commands. And in this video, we're gonna start learning how to do commands on other players. What we're gonna do here now is local args equals message split, and then we're gonna say space. And then what this is gonna do is, for instance, if you have a message that says, kill me it's gonna it's gonna make the first thing kill and it's gonna make the second thing me so it'll tell us like it'll tell us what is before and after the space so how does this actually work so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of all this from the last video now we're dealing with arguments so start with if our well we'll do local command equals args one and just like I said the first thing of args will be the command, and the second thing will be the player. So local player equals args2. So now what we're gonna do is if command equals equals kill, then if game.players find first child player, then oh actually we should do player name. Or we should do victim. If game.players find first child victim, then instead of setting the, your own players health to zero we're gonna set the victim's health to zero so let me explain how this works now once players add into the game or once players join the game once they chat take their message and put it into args in args the first thing in args will be the first word the second thing in args will be the second word of the message so the commands will be the first word and the victim or whoever it is you're killing will be the second word if the player is an admin and if the command, which is the first word, is equal to kill, then if if the victim exists, then set the character's health to zero, which also means kill them. And what we're forgetting here is we need to do this. Okay, now we'll try it. So now we're going to do kill senku script. And yeah, it killed me. Now let's try this with multiple players. All right, so now I have my friend here and what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna see if the commands work on multiple people. So I'm gonna say kill element of the X and he's dead. So now we know that the commands work on more than one player. So now we have all of our previous commands here. Let's try to make them work with across multiple players. So we're gonna do else if command equals equals force field then and we can basically just copy paste this and we can change this to this uh we can actually we should do this okay so now what this is saying is if the command is force field then if the player from the player that's after the first space in the message if the player exists then put a force field on them and let's see if that works force field to script and yeah so just like that we can basically do the same kind of logic with all of these commands right here almost all but for now what we're going to do is we're going to add a prefix so we're going to say local prefix equals exclamation mark and now we will do prefix dot dot. So now we're going to append all of our commands with the prefix. So instead of saying kill, you now have to put the exclamation mark before kill. That's what this does. Whenever you add these two dots, it's combining these two things together. So if the command is equal to exclamation mark kill, then if the victim is found in players, then find the victim and set their health to zero. So now we need the prefix in order to execute our commands. Kill empty script. And yeah. So now we've got prefixes, we've got multiple argument commands. And I think I'll make one more command before I end this video. Else if command equals equals prefix dot dot fire. Then and then we basically just do this and or we can just copy this and set that to fire and then put head here. So if you think about it, this line and this line are almost the same thing. 
So if you think about it, this line and this line are pretty much almost the same thing. The only thing really different is that now we have a prefix and now instead of message, which is the entire message that the player sends, we're using command, which is just the first part. And instead of putting the fire on the player that said the message's head, we're figuring out who the victim is and we're putting the fire on their head instead. So just like that, that's going to be part two of the admin commands tutorial. If you want a part three, just like and comment and subscribe. I hope you enjoy this video. See you later.